Hello students, welcome to Learners Planet. In today's session, I am going to discuss about the binomial system of nomenclature. Uh, well, nomenclature of what? Nomenclature of living organisms. Right. Basically, uh, what, is what is meant by nomenclature? Nomenclature, actually, it is when we are studying about the diversity of living organisms. So, here this nomenclature means the scientific and the systematic method of assigning the names to the living organisms. You must have studied about nomenclature in chemistry also, isn't it? So, over there the nomenclature is related to the uh, uh, these inorganic or the organic compounds. Right. But this binomial system of nomenclature is completely related to the living organisms. Further, uh, you know who was the person who actually uh, introduced this particular system? Who proposed this particular binomial system of nomenclature? It was Sir uh, Carl Linnaeus. Carl Linnaeus, uh, who is also known as the father of uh, uh, botany or the father and the father of taxonomy. You understand what is this taxonomy? Taxonomy is the branch of science that deals with the classification of organisms. Right. And of course, uh, this uh, nomenclature, it is related to the organisms. Right. So now in today's session, I am going to discuss that uh, what is this binomial system actually. Right. So this binomial system, according to this system, the name of any living organism is comprised of two names right and since there are two names in this particular uh, uh, organism's name therefore it is known as the binomial system right there is another system also for the nomenclature which is known as trinomial nomenclature trinomial system of nomenclature but this binomial is of course widely accepted and uh, there is no problem with trinomial system also right it becomes little bit more complicated but, but it is completely accurate, right? So, according to need or according to this binomial system, there are some uh, specific rules so as to assign the name. Number one thing is that it is it should be comprised of two names. First name is the name of the genera or the genus, right? Any organism is there, the name of the genus is first of all written in the name of that particular organism. Right? I hope you understand what is this genus. Genus is a rank or it is a taxa. Right? Uh, which is uh, having the uh, different living organisms over there. And it comes between the two ranks. You know which two ranks are there? It is a family and a species. So the rank which comes in between these two ranks. That is known as the genus. And the name of the genus is supposed to be the first name of any living organism. Fine. Then second name is known as a specific name. And this specific name is nothing but it is the name of the species. So there cannot be two, uh, or, there can never be two organisms which are sharing the same genus and the same species. Of course, even if the genera is same, they must be having the different species, right? Uh, so this is how the name of the organism is further uh, assigned here according to binomial system. Next thing is that this name of the genus or the generic name, it should be written or it should begin with the capital letter. This is the next important rule whenever the name is assigned or whenever we are writing the name of any organism. Uh, if the small letter is written for this name, even if the name is coming in between the text, then also the name of genus has to be written with the capital letter. Fine. Uh, after that, the specific name, it should begin with the small letter. Right. So this is how the two names are written together. The first name is written with the capital letter and the next species name is written with the small letter. Uh, when these names or they are uh, printed in the text, if you are typing these names in any text, then it should be in the italic form. Right. And uh, suppose if you are writing these names in the, uh, with your pen or something, then definitely these two names, they have to be underlined. 
and when you are underlining these names it is not a single common line which is going to uh, highlight the two names rather two separate lines are used so as to highlight these particular two names so these are the basic uh, uh, rules of course there are additional points also but the main uh, rules which has to be followed for the nomenclature according to this binomial system are as we have discussed. To be more clear, let me give you some examples so that you can easily understand that uh, how this name is comprised of and how it has to be written. So, we all are the human beings, right? So, let me give you the example of human beings itself. Right, human beings. The name of uh, the scientific name of human beings is Homo sapiens. Right, so in this case, this particular name that is the Homo, this Homo is the name of the genus, fine, which is of course having the other organisms in it besides the human beings also. Right, there are many different species. Like there were the uh, uh, the ancestors. Let me compare that. Like for example, the Java man was there, or the Cro Magnon, Neanderthals. There are different ma uh, uh, human beings. Right, but they are the different species. So the name is Homo. This is going to be common in all these organisms. But further, according to its uh, uh, dissimilarity, or they are further classified as the species. Species. It is that particular group uh, which in which the organisms are having the maximum similarities. They are able to uh, perpetuate with each other. They can easily communicate with each other. And moreover, they can reproduce. They can interbreed with each other. That is what we call as the organism uh, which is belonging to same species. So if it is uh, sapiens, so this sapiens that means the modern man. Right, uh, or the intelligent, uh, intelligent man, like we all, human beings. Fine, so the Homo is the name of the genus and Sapiens is the name of the species. Now further, you can see that this name of the genus, I have written it with the capital letter. So whenever you are writing in your answer or anywhere, always use capital letter so as to, uh, uh, to represent the genus name. Fine. Then the sapiens for that the small letter has to be used and when it is written in the text it has to be underlined. Underline homo and separately underline the sapiens and if it is printed in the text definitely you have to use the italic form there. Right. So this is an example and there are many different names like panthera tigris. Right. Uh, then uh, let us say like uh, Panthera tigris, that is a tiger. Then like, uh, let me say like uh, Rana tigrina. Rana tigrina, that is a frog. There are so many examples that you can understand and learn so as to clarify any doubt related to this binomial system. So I will come back further with the new topic that is of course important from your exam point of view also. Right? So till then, thank you so much. Have a nice day. Goodbye.